Hey folks, I'm Trevian Glory, and welcome to the second part of my campaign as Kiev in the 1212 mod for Total War Attila. So, we have music, have sound. Um, good to know. Uh, so in the first part, we attacked Poland, took Krakow, and wiped out the whole duchy. So, good start for us. And as a result of that, we managed to get ourselves non-aggression packs with Silesia and Hungary, as well as trade deals. So we're doing decently in terms of finances. The plan now is to go up and conquer the Baltic, uh, but we're at the end of the turn. So we're going to move on. I wonder should I merge up? Can I recruit anything in here? Ah, do I want to wait two turns? That's a Question. Yeah, okay, we're going to do that. Let's disband these guys and recruit a couple of Moldavian warriors. And we'll just let the rest recover their strength. This army over here we've got under recruitment and I could recruit some more units in here this time so I was going to get another couple of them definitely want another couple of archers a couple of them as well and we'll stick at that for now I think Yeah, let's do that. And we will move on. Oh, I can still assign a governor to our new territory. Uh, what's your story? And I should put people in offices, I suppose, as well. Raise banner. You've got wealth. I take that as well, doesn't make any difference, and we will put you in as the governor of Krakow. And an edict for you. Oh, if we get poor public order, mostly due to conquest, but having the army in there is also a big factor, so we need to sort out public order. Yeah, do that. And, as I said, let's check out offices. So, Mikhail, uh, you're a governor. So, you can go in as the Posadnik. And Yuri, our general, you don't have enough influence. You are the governor as well, and you can go in there. Power's 53. I'd like to get it up into respectable. But we'll take that as it comes. Move on. It's in, it's fine. Yuri. You need another eight influence before you can get an office. Alright, so. We'll be up to almost full strength by the time these guys are recruited. And then you head up to Gardinas. What do we have here? Salt. And this army... Probably just leave you there recruiting for a while. I 
I don't want any boy or sons. Expensive. We might just get some Drazina. But in the meantime, uh, I was going to get some dismounted Drazina. I think we want three of them. Just take two for now. And let's check out Krakow. Right, so you need to be converted to a fort or a walled city. I think we're going to go with the fort just because of the recruitment that it unlocks for us not particularly because we think we're going to be attacked in that flank but we'll take that anyway and you they yeah, were dismantling you wheat fields we will switch to Um, sheep herd, maybe. Gives me a bit more population growth. But then so does the wheat field. Okay, that gives us 42 plus 24, 66 food there. That gives us an extra 31 food. Much less income. Well, I think we'll focus on the food for now. So we'll go with the wheat fields. And we can't convert you at the moment. I want to reduce it. Because I can't do anything with it for a long time. Oh, hang on. What does, it, what does it need? Just needs cash, actually. A couple of turns we'll be able to switch that for something else. So we'll leave it as it is. And with that, and a quick check of diplomacy, I think we can move on. We're all good there. These guys here. I might actually go and attack them. Hmm. I don't know, I don't know. I think I'll leave them. If they become a problem, Welcome I'll go and wipe them out. Guest. I trust you bring word. But we'll focus in the Baltic for the moment. That's just because their army marched through there. They do have another one, obviously. Yeah, we'll just leave them. Leave them be. And focus on our friends to the north. Let's end the turn. The worthy bride uh, for Mikhail. Yeah, okay. I don't think that's a problem, so give her blessing.
I think we'll try and gather some support. Let's just take the extra control. And that was Yuri. You still can't get in there. Still only 10 influence. Okay. Looking, looking good. So let's march you up here. See what's happening up in Gardinus. Oh, we can't quite see, never mind. So, sanitation's good in there. Hmm, I think we're going to go with, yeah, probably agriculture. Um, I don't want to open up this just now though. Yeah, we'll take the salt deposit. I'm going for the wheat fields there. I should have checked that out. Because that gives extra 12% from animal husbandry. I might switch that. Let it build up for the moment though. And then give. Nothing to be done. Mm hmm okay. Let's get us another dismounted Drazina. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, and into turn again. The army's still there. I wonder what they went off to do. Not at war with anybody. Strange. Never mind. Uh, Silesia. Your people's reputation goes before you. Find a welcome here and speak as you wish. Um. Don't think I want a military alliance, to be honest. Welcome, and let us be honoured by your attendance and your. Yeah, leave that. With me near, everything there's fine. Okay, just end the turn and move on. But Mikhail has a skill first. You're a governor, so take the wealth and the thinker, I suppose. Now we move on. So I think by the time this army's finished recruiting, it should just about be in time to go and attack Lithuania. Good, we are six percent control from our political intrigue. Still at fifty-three percent. We have a lot of influence. So let's check out not there here. Public order's dropping, but it's not too bad. And if I did want to switch that, it would cost 3,000. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'd have to switch to the sheep herd. And get the bonus from here as well. Okay. Let's have you move in here. Would that I were 
Okay, second army being built. I think I would want to bring up my second army. So let's pull you back into our own territory for now. Yeah, we'll just wait. Wait a couple of turns and then we'll bring them up. And this will do is. Okay. Hopefully that's not going to prompt them to attack us. We've got war with anybody. I don't think there's any wars going on up here. You're at war with Jetons. Well, we'll just stand by and watch. Yes. Keep an eye out there. If they march off, that would be ideal. Let's end the turn. Jutons aren't down here. We hunger for battle. Uh, do I want to go back into the land? I suppose it doesn't make a difference. Um, if we're going to go to war with them anyway. So you jump in there. And fortify Look to the defenses. you should have another turn left before you're finished recruiting so that's okay and where did their second army go I don't know let's uh, check your details not Yuri it's um, the governor we need Give you that and that. Three thousand to switch to the sheep herd. Yeah, I think it's definitely worth doing that. Okay. Diplomacy. Things are deteriorating, mostly because of the trespasses. Lithuania are going to fall suit. Okay, end of the turn. What I'd like to see is the Teutonic Order army arrive about here, and then I can besiege Gardenas, and then they can come in and help. Yeah, thought they might. Well, they've actually moved away. Okay, we're going to pull you out country. Make haste, men. And we'll drop you into ambush stance. And just hopefully they lose sight of you. If they go off to deal with the Teutons while I move this army up to the border here.
Okay. Do I want to spend the money on that? I think I want to uh, switch this first. So we're going to hold off for now, save the money. We'll do that next turn. Still can't see anybody else. So we'll just end the turn here and hopefully watch them disappear off into the fog. Of course, they could end up just with the Chitoni Corridor going to war with me, but if they do, hopefully my allies would stand by me. We'll see what happens. Mission I should be at war with. Oh well, we've got 10 tons, we'll get Orthodox Christian support. It's as good as done then. And they have disappeared. So, we'll make the attack. First of all though, let's switch this. Don't want the catapults. Light horse archers, jiggets. Moldavian warriors, I think we'll go with the foreigner camp. Oh no, actually Drazina, senior Drazina. Hmm. This gives plus nine public order though. It's expensive. No, I think I like the Drazina. Yeah, 6,000, that's what we're saving up for really. So we'll do that. And... Um, how much does that take? 5,400. So I may be able to do that next time. But anyway, let's get this army up. Just cross the river. Should be fine. Come up here. On the move. And again, we'll just check and see. Yeah, they're only at war with Chitconic Order that we still haven't discovered. So we'll make the attack, and I might actually bring Lithuania into the war as well. I need to take you out of ambush stance. Move up to here. Does it take... Oh, does I have to cross the river? Why? I get such limited movement range. Let's go up to there then. And I guess we're not making the attack this time. End the turn and move on. Is their army close enough to come back? That's the question now. Okay, good stuff. Ready for orders. Uh, Krakow. Let's build this up. And then here, Ready for battle. give you some skill. 
level of cunning, we reduce maintenance costs or upkeep costs, so we'll take that and put one into authority. Okay, and now we can make this attack. Let's declare war. Lithuania probably going to come in. Okay. Good stuff. Right, now let's... I've only got three. Yeah, um... We've only got three construction points, so I think we're just going to go with ladders. And we'll just attack as quickly as we can. So maintain the siege for now. And you, let's pull you up to here. Just to make sure you're in reinforcement range of that army. And you can fortify. Actually... How about if I pull you up here? Up to about there. At once. And... Oh, I can't go into ambush stance because you're in visual range. So if we move you instead to, say, there, probably still not going to be possible. Oh, it is. Good. An ambush, sir. Just in case that army comes back. Alright. Diplomacy. Still can't see the Chitoni Corridor. So nothing to do. Let's then just end the turn. Lithuania. Uh, that's my vassal. If only you had a full strength army, you could go out there and hit them. I am certain that with your feigned wisdom, you can see that we benefit from your friendship and you from ours. Hmm. It's a proposition. You're not at war with anybody yet, and you are also allied to Hungary. Would you be willing to pay for it? No. You've got friends down here as well, so let's accept. Oh, Yuri, bad man. Right, so we can go ahead and make that attack now. Kiev. Small garrison. But it will hold them. If they do try and attack and besiege, we should be able to get an army back down there in time. And we could even send the other army up to Vilnius. Okay, but first thing to do, obviously, is to make this attack. So you, back in normal stance. I'll just pull you in a bit to make sure, again, that you're in reinforcement range and you can attack. Okay, and we will fight the battle. But I'm going to do that in the next part. So for now, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content and I hope to see you again next time. Cheers! Cheers.